I am fascinated by the boat scene in in terms of the position that he puts her in and then how she processes what she just experiences and winds up bouncing back and and taking that information after such a huge moment of like fear and grief and then actually acts to try to help the island. So what was it like for you basically trying to process the fact that Riley put her in like a terrifying position, but then having her come out the other side in a way that could help her loved ones? I think because of the day they spent together in the what happens when we die day, he had a sense of her inner steel. And he knew, and he says in the boat, I'll ne- I was never as strong as you. I know you're going to go back. I want you to leave, but I know you're going to go back. So he knew. And I just took that as gospel because at that point, Aaron and Riley are honest with each other. And then um, Mike and I talked a lot about how long it would take somebody to burn alive. Oh, no. And what that would smell like and what that would look like, like the real authentic moment to moment of what was going to happen in front of Aaron, which is why they run that scream over the credits to give it a sense of time, how long it takes. And then we come back after this. This kind of. N quality, this neutral quality between two episodes and it's funny you say she comes through it because I never felt that. I felt that from that moment on, you never see Aaron smile again. Like Aaron's like, ah. she doesn't come back until she sees Riley again. And so what has happened, in my opinion, and this is for this is what's the beauty of art is it is completely up to interpretation. And your opinion, the viewer is as valuable as mine, the performer, is that Aaron in that moment knows she will be sacrificing her life for the community. And there's and she has gone through something so traumatic that she is in shock for the next two episodes. She need time wise. It's only been a day. So until and she knows this thing and she's still in she will be in that rowboat in my mind until she's in the church and then she starts seeing this thing happen. And you kind of see Aaron wake up when people are holding the cups and she's like, wait, no, no, we have to do something because before that she still had not fully digested and in some cases maybe literally because there's a lot of ash that flies around she hasn't digested riley and then she is the reluctant hero the ash is burned away and aaron looks around and she's like can i curse on this podcast on the show please do she's like oh fuck there's no one else but me i guess i have to do the things and so she's not a ripley She's not like a Xena warrior princess. She is a reluctant hero who who finds herself unable to do anything but save the people she loves. 